What? I thought I warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a second. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the talent, then why don't you just take them? Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Oh. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my... breath. Well now, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I... Just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it! Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command! I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bissad! On guard! Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Now I have to fight Jambasama Bentley, but let's see what I do. I think right. it's the wrong one. Yes. Yep. It's a square for flames, turn for souls, and. Uh huh. Sucker for the. What's that? I don't know. There we go. I have to do this many times until his health goes down, you know. It's actually probably my favorite boss in this game. Actually, it's the first time I don't like it, but it's so funny, actually. Come on in here, boys. Let's get this varmint. Well, because it's way different than your bosses, that's why I love it. Yeah, it's never a guards, but they don't. They're nothing. For these flames. I keep using flames, it seems to me the best way to win, no? 10 4. Fire! How's that? Actually, if you can see better, it's always live, it's just using these. Wait, it's the wrong button. Triangle? Yes, stronger for the souls. Come here. Gotcha. Too late. Oh, crap, I'm gonna die here. I have to be perfect now. Keep it in the fire. Dynamite, no, not dynamite. This part is harder actually. Uh -huh. Let's keep using flames to be this way to win them. Gotcha! Come out boys, let's get to killing. 
kill him. Now then I might with enemies at the same time. That's the hardest part and I can't even die here and clear the everything over again. Wait, there's a house here. Give me it. How's that? But your boss is annoying badly. Who dabbed you? There you go. That'd be crazy. Yes, but dip a sound. Boss. Tarnation! I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over brawn. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me! You... did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks! Uh, attention, uh, John Besson! Arpeggio's, uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Perfect, yes. Shake a leg! That blimp's on its way! Oh, where had to go? Yes, I, for I totally forgot about the uh, other part. Totally. I had to reach the blimp. Alright, let's do this. Knock about guards. And the jump is on his. It's defeated. We can do anything. Yes. Let's throw Bentley. Yes. Why can't you use the. the pad there? The jump pad? The job is completed, finally. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. Wait, you still in this van? Okay, never mind. Episode 8. This is the last one. This is the last part. And then this game will be done. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the clogging took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together, and when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen. Like Cooper and the gang, and... Anatomy of for disaster. Nice little for... Let's just rush to him. 
Jason, this is the last one. Probably the final one. I don't know. Anyway, see you then. Bye. Wait, it's the saving. Oh, yeah, bye.